Hello, my name is Levi Valdois with Subside Electronics. Today I'm going to talk about creating a wireless link between the receiver and the transmitter on a Utiligard advanced system, also known as RXTX communications. RXTX communications allows the operator to control the transmitter from the receiver screen up to 2,500 feet line of sight. Some benefits of RXTX communication is the operator can change frequencies, power levels, and also change leads in a dual lead type situation where you are attempting to locate more than one utility up to two utilities at a time. In order to create the wireless link or RXTX communication, first we are going to start on the receiver side. We are going to select the menu button in the upper right hand side of your keypad on the receiver. By long pressing, we are going to scroll to settings and then scroll down to communications. Once on the communications screen, we are going to link TX. You will get a notification on the screen to turn on the transmitter and enter link mode and then press any key to continue. So on our transmitter, we are going to long press the menu. We are going to navigate to settings and then navigate to communications. Here, same process, we want to link RX, which stands for receiver, and select. It's going to initialize and we're going to press any key on our receiver. It's now going to search for devices. So the RX or receiver and TX or transmitter are going to look for each other. Here we see Muffle TX and the serial number. We will select that transmitter. It will go through a linking process and we will get a notification on the screen and an audible sound from the receiver. The transmitter will navigate back to the transmit screen and we will continue to go back to the receive screen on the receiver. Here we will demonstrate changing the frequency on the receiver and making the transmitter transmit a different frequency. As you can tell on our transmitter we are currently transmitting 3.14K we simply select the frequency button in the lower right hand corner of the receiver to change frequencies. We will get a flashing link icon in the lower left hand screen of the receiver and you will notice that the transmitter has now changed frequencies to match the receiver. Okay. If a frequency is selected on the receiver that is not available currently in the transmitter, you will get a icon in the lower left hand corner next to your link icon that will include a small letter F. In order to change power levels or leads from the receiver on the transmitter, we will need to navigate to the communications menu. So we're going to go into the menu. We are going to select TX control. We are now going to see on the receiver screen exactly what we see on the transmitter. The item that is blinking currently is the power level. In order to bump the power level up one bar, we simply select one time the frequency button you will see the power level on the receiver change, it will cycle, and you will see the transmitter power level change as well. 
In order to change leads in a dual lead scenario, we will select the down arrow. Once the leads are blinking, we will select the frequency button again, and we will see the leads change on the screen from red to white. You will notice the same thing happened on our transmitter. We can now navigate back to the locate screen and we can now locate the second utility that is attached to our second lead.